Hallo? My father died. Again. Embassy. Access code 22. It was 22454. Does it still work? Yes. I need a trace on a call that I just got on my cell a minute ago. Okay. Hello? She just called you. I don't know what's going on. We need you here in Tel Aviv immediately. Are you fucking kidding? Just tell me what's going on. Not over the phone. You have to fly in. No, no. That, that's not going to happen. I'll meet you here. Thomas, it's Joe. Jesus, they brought you in. They did. How are you, Joe? How's Netta? She's fine. Still in remission. Listen, Thomas, the situation is getting out. I'm not flying anywhere, Joe. You don't have to fly anywhere. There's a safe house in Cologne. They'll give you the details. I'm heading there now. Thanks for coming on such a notice. I'm Daniel. Thomas. I remember. Why did she call you? I don't know. Why did she call you? She knows you well. I don't know. Are you going to tell me what's going on? I'm not about him. She said my father died again and hung up. What does it mean? Her father dying was a pull-out code for Iran. Did her father really die? Why did she use code now? Her father died four days ago near London. She slipped out of Israel, attended his funeral, and disappeared right after that. Disappeared? She could be anywhere now. I'm only talking to Joe. I'm only talking to Joe. He's on his He's way. Retired. Yes, yeah, so am I. For fuck's sake, you had him call me. I'm only talking to him. Whatever, Thomas. Are you pulling me out? No. Are you pulling me out? No. You always wanted to get your hands on him? But you got your hands on him. See how that worked out. Fuck you. Uh, isn't it nice to be needed? I've been waiting for this call ever since you graduated. Hey, watch out. You can have this room. Anything you need, we will be right here. Mm -hmm. Listen, until the call this morning, I haven't heard from her in over a year. Thomas, nobody's blaming you for anything. This is about assessing her motives. You're the person closest to her. You're crucial. Look, let's just go over this step by step. Let them do the grunt work. We need to get into her head. We have an advantage over them. You know her and I know you. Do you consider yourself Jewish? My father was half Jewish. I wrote in your father you were adopted. Huh. Is that relevant? Do you know who your biological parents were? Mm -mm. Were you brought up Christian by your mother? To some extent. But we should develop that. When they assigned her to me, she was working out of Leipzig doing basic stuff. It was my idea to send her to Tehran, get her into the nuclear division. Attack. It wasn't easy to convince HQ. She did have a very unusual biography for a Mossad operative. Born in London, her father a British citizen, her mother German, a Christian Baptist, who died when Rachel was 12. 
I don't remember much of London. What I think I remember is probably from pictures I saw later. I moved to Boston when I was six, Canada when I was 12, and that's when my mom started chemo. So where are you from? <laughs> Only place I've ever felt at home, at least for a moment, is Israel. Why? I don't know. You know, my mom always used to talk about it. She volunteered in a kibbutz there in the 70s. It was a big thing for Germans to do at the time. Have you ever lived there? She was in a relationship with an Israeli medical student she'd met in London. That was her first time in the country. When they split up, she stayed. She had no real plans. She was kind of a drifter. When she extended her work visa, someone in the organization noticed. I mean, she immediately attracted attention. Passports, language skills, a lack of any center or real roots anywhere. The recruiter got a sense that she was eager to belong, eager to do something significant. And I'm Rachel Curry. We gave her a fully authenticated Australian passport, built her a whole new identity around that. Early years near Sydney, growing up in Canada, she spent a year in Leipzig establishing that identity. Her cover, an English and French teacher. Hello. Dein Arbeitszeugnis ist fertig. Es tut mir leid, dass es doch so kurzfristig ist. Schon gut. Du weißt, du bist immer willkommen bei uns. Danke. Her first assignment was to get a work permit in Tehran, sponsored by a local language school there. For a Mossad operative to enter Iran so early in their career is unusual, but I had confidence in her. Just making you uncomfortable. Mm-mm. Primary screening is about 30 seconds. If you go to secondary, that's hours. A secondary can be triggered by nervousness or any kind of inconsistency. So luggage, length of stay, profession, ticket class, they all have to match. You shouldn't look like you've just stepped out of a mall. How close are you to your father? Why? What do you mean? You should always establish cover with close family members before unusual absences. Oh, we're not close. Still. What? All right. I'll do it. Fine. You live alone, don't you? Do I? Hmm, I don't know. You always schedule meetings on weekends. Your predecessor never did. Well, I think if it's 24-7 for you, then it should be for me, too. So even if you were married, you'd see me on a weekend? <sighs> I'm probably not gonna sleep tonight. You're gonna do great. You're the best person for this assignment. Thank you for saying that. schon wieder warten. Hallo. Hallo. No anybody in Tehran? No. Uh, I emailed with the person who hired me. 
You are staying where? Hotel Estiglal. اگه داره میرین نهار پنج دقیقه وایسا با هم میرین این چیزی جدیدی شما خریدی؟ I'm sorry New? Oh, some. I lost my luggage on my flight to Berlin. Hello? Hello, Ms. Cohen. Our spa is open and at your disposal. We also want to let you know that we have all kinds of drinks. Not just what's in the menu. All kinds of drinks. I couldn't sleep that night. I imagined them entering, dragging me out. I imagined being hanged. I remember thinking I'm all alone. You know, it's just me and the rest of the world. Everybody must know who I am. How could they not? And then I realized, as I was standing there peeping, that I had nothing to hide. You know, I was just that person who came here to teach. That's it. Nothing else. I just decided I wasn't going to be afraid. That's a temporary work permit. OK, file all your receipts. I'll handle the reports. Take a couple of days off. You did good. OK. Is that perfume? What do you mean? It's not the one you left with.
Was it clear at this point that she was going to go long term to Iran? Nope. She made some contacts there and was liked at the language school. But I needed her to be part of one of the big operations first. I needed the higher ups to pay attention to her. Angela, this is Stefan. Stefan Angela. Staying one night in Nisseldorf for shopping and waiting for a flight. Your room number is 507. Already checked in. You really don't speak any Hebrew? Also to you. Stefan is really lousy at cover work, so don't let him open his mouth. Security camera, Sam. The layout is here, 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 and there. This is a timetable when we can access them. And the lobby. Yeah. If you sit here, you have the best view. Good night. Can you put a jack or a glass of water in How long are we supposed to stay at the bar? That's your call. Just long enough for people there to get a sense of your presence. Are we supposed to talk? Even a little? This is Anton Roska. He's been helping Iran since the 90s. Uranium enrichment program. That's the only photo we have of him. It was probably taken 15 years ago. Positive ID is crucial. If he is in the bar tonight, you will be closest to him. There'll be another team cross-validating with telephoto lenses. How was your practice? It was good. Uh, when I went to this corner, people usually stood here. I could easily squeeze in between them to get to the panel. And I wasn't even pregnant then. So elevators A, B, C, D. Text Stefan before you get in to let him know which elevator you're in. What if you need to let Stefan know for any reason to abort? If I have to abort, I say, here you are. I exit to the right in front of him. I take him away. He's my husband. He was waiting for me. All goes well. I exit to the left. Get out of the shot. Now, we don't execute at any cost. Something is not according to plan. You have the right to call it off. Exit. Emergency stairs. We wait here, and pickup is here. Right. Oh, 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 no matter, I take her with you. See, okay, ciao, a dopo. Sorry, um, can you press L, please? Thank you. There you are.
Hello. I'm Rachel. Rosita. Hi. Bokasha. Hey, my Pleasure. I wanted to meet you for a while. I'm on it. Pleasure. We actually met before once in training. This is done? Nice to meet you. Hi. No chance you met him before. <laughs> Beautiful day. I miss the Israeli weather. It's really nice to meet you. You haven't been to Israel since you were recruited. Oh, I work out of Germany. You didn't even visit. You should visit more to connect to the place, to the people. You're one of us now. Rachel, you were in Tehran not long ago. Oh, it's like I'm in Canada. I grew up there. Tehran me manque tellement. Il n'y a pas une ville comme Tehran. Les gens, les rues, tout. Oui, c'est très particulier. There aren't that many foreigners there, so everybody is constantly trying to help you prove that Iranians are not like what Westerners imagine them to be. They can be nice to the point of driving you crazy. Did it make it more difficult for you to leave your cover? Not really. Um, just have to learn how to handle it. Focus on the job, the students. Be who you are. Mm. You're very talented. It's not easy to stand out in our organization. How do you feel about a long-term assignment in Tehran? Yeah, he just wanted to look you in the eye when he asked you. Panga. Didn't even know your name till recently. Would you stay on as my handler? Of course. So did you give him an answer yet? I was so excited I couldn't speak. I can't believe I'm here. Here? Doing this, you know? It does feel different knowing that you're there for a long time. You know, I walk around a lot. I feel like that's important, you know, to get a sense of the city, where things are, how to interact with people, how not to attract attention, keep to myself. But it's not at all. I'm consciously making an effort to learn everyday habits here. It's getting easier. The apartment I rent in Pasteuron is, is perfect. It's practical, I like it, it's comfortable. It makes perfect sense for a single Western woman to live there. There's lots of cafes I like to sit in, shops I like to shop in. You know, the more I have people around me, I feel like I belong. Rachel, but happens I'm ham, so yes. Nashi wanted to ask you something. She wanted to know if you'd have come dinner with us. I'd love to. Thank you. I do like it there. I like Tehran. I'm alone most of the time, but you know, I don't feel lonely. I can't explain it. Every time I come back to Germany to see you, I feel more and more out of place. And I can't wait to get back to Iran. Pants. Mm -hmm. It did feel very boring at first, after all the work we've done here. But, um, you know, my work's so detailed and fragmented. After a while, I really realized that it helps me focus and occupies my mind.
Thank you. I'm an English teacher. Is it okay if I work here? I like to get out the house. Sure, no problem. Look at this. It's weeks of tracking the coming and going of Reza Wahidi. The Minister of Defense? Yeah. Did she know that? Did she know who she was tracking? She had no idea. After six months carrying out small disconnected missions like this, I felt that her routines were set, that her cover was stable, that she was stable. She was ready for the next thing. That's when we decided to approach Rezavi Electronics. Farad Rezavi. The wallet is gone. Three coins are, are missing. Everyone is. is here. But everyone are many people. It's a question for you. It's a question for you. It's a question for you. It's actually a really good question, Shireen. Does anybody know why it's is and not are? Ali? You know? Oh, Sepide. Does that challenge you? Does that challenge you? Chantam had wrecked Paravet in other Amlo Tambesh Mitty? Hatma. Mam Luna. Tanjay, you're a bureau? No, two minutes. You do attend Ravik Louis, son uncle, et en retard. Ah, mais je peux attendre avec lui, et t'inquiète pas. Vraiment? Bien sûr, t'inquiète. Merci. Come with me. My uncle Farhad, he has a BMW. Wow. Really? Mm -hmm. All right, well, let's see who gets the spot in first. Okay. Rachel, on ne fait pas que chez Charlotte. Il a du vin. Je vais essayer. There he is. Goodbye. Bye, Ali. I'm sorry I'm late. And my sister, she called me just now. No problem. You work with Ali after school? Yeah, twice a week. You give the one-to-one -one lesson too? One-on-one <laughs> -on -one lessons, yeah. Wait, wait. My name is Farhad. I'm Rachel. Nice to meet you. I need your help. I think your English is pretty good. You no, know, I, uh, I work in Europe a lot. I want, uh, I want to be loose. <laughs> you know, free. You want to be loose? Uh, you see? I'm going to uh, drop Ali to my sisters now. Uh, maybe you can give me a lesson later. Oh, I'm sorry. I'm really busy here today. Uh, tomorrow? Shall we begin? Tell me about yourself. No, no, no. Uh, I pay. I decide what we talk. I'm paying. I should decide what we talk about. Uh, if you're going to be impolite, at least express yourself correctly. Okay. Okay. I'm paying, so I should decide what we talk about. Very good. میشه دوتا چای بیاری؟ بله اتما سب کن چای میخوری؟ تی؟ او یس پلیس تینکیو وی دو یو دو؟ ایل هلپ می تو فیند آت وات یور نیدز آر یو آر این ایران ها لان؟ ای وایل یو دی نات لرن نات تو اسک فیشنز لایک دات؟ هفنت یو لرن نات تو اسک فیشنز لایک دات؟ هفنت یو لرن نات تو اسک فیشنز لایک دات؟ وات دو یو وانت تاک ابوت؟ Tell me about yourself. <laughs> That's okay. Mm -hmm. Really? You just make up the rules that suit you? <laughs> I'm so sorry. The rules here are invented to suit me. <laughs> so, tell me something. 
Something personal. Personal? Um... I was adopted. My parents are not my biological parents. You were born there? I was born in Australia. But we left when I was young. Six. I grew up in Vancouver. You're lucky. Merci. You lived in different places. Yeah. Well, you know. I'm jealous of people that have a home, a place, friends they know since childhood. So why are you here? I was teaching in Leipzig. But honestly, it was really, really boring, and I don't know, you know? Tehran, there's something I really like here. Hmm. Do you know what it is? The people here all have many secrets. Do they? There's too many rules in Iran, so if, uh, if you want to drink, you keep it secret. You marry a woman who is a, um, you understand, she, she had sex. You keep it secret. If you go to a party or a cultural thing too controversial, keep it secret. You don't want to fast during Ramadan, eat in secret. It's the way of life here, like a second nature. Are you okay? Oh, uh, yes. Sorry. I'm just a bit dizzy. It's the weather. Always happens to me. It's the man from the upstairs. His son is a criminal. He often comes here to hide. Hello? There's a party tonight, like the one I told you of. Will you come? Just like that, huh? I will pick you up. My friends want to meet you. I didn't know I could dress like that. Hey, Alain Fala! Alain! C'est tout et tout! This is my friend Rachel. Rachel, this Oh, I don't want that. No, no, really. <laughs> Rachel, everyone does. No, I, I'm good. Just walk. Oh. If you insist, I'm leaving. Okay. Wow. Another one? The first time having alcohol in Iran. <laughs> Drinking is illegal here, right? Your ecstasy dealer is also your alcohol dealer.
Hey. Good morning. Is this your brother? <laughs> mm-hmm. In Iran ist Freitag wirklich der einzig freie Tag. What do you care? Samstag und Sonntag sind normale Arbeitstage. Your father called the embassy. Started asking questions. So I had to talk to him, <coughs> explain everything. You did what? That's private, Thomas. All right. And that's not your goddamn business. You told me you're not adopted. That was just a game, Thomas. A stupid game I used to play as a teenager. It's nothing. You said in your file that you're adopted. I didn't mean to lie. It's just something my friend and I used to say in school. And I'm sure it was written somewhere, so I just automatically... So from a teenager till now, a grown woman, you're still saying you're adopted. So what? So what? You told me you're adopted. You basically told this organization that you're adopted. When I started working for the Mossad, all I did was they just used my name to rent apartments in Berlin, all right? I never imagined it would go this far. It was just a stupid lie. That you're still telling now? Yes. Why? I don't have anything else to say to that. Grant, you don't even seem bothered that, one, you didn't inform family member of your association with us, which you said you would do, and two, you've lied about something pretty major to do with your background. Now, this job is all about being able to be completely honest with the people you're supposed to trust. You can lie to the world, but in here, you tell the truth. To this organization, you tell the truth, and to me, you tell the truth. Because even shitty little details like this, it all matters, because I have to trust you. I have to completely trust you. Right. I'm sleeping with Farhat. You what? I slept with him. I mean, I'm still sleeping with him, but... You were just supposed to tutor him. You didn't report this. I'm reporting it now. That was a key moment. We suddenly realized we couldn't control her fully, and she wanted to make that point. She was like, if I want to sleep with the guy, I'll sleep with the guy. And she had a life there. So what do you do? You let her dictate like that? You tolerate a relationship you have absolutely no handle on, or you pull her out, lose everything. What do you do? Bon shmol, focus on you. My tarai karit shlano, in kor tziyot technologi pagum li Iran. Not a difut rishona, shniya veshlishit. אז בואו לא נתפזר. אני מסכים, למצוא עוד חברה כמו עזבי שעושה עסקים עם הממשל האיראני בכזה קנה מידה, זה... אי אפשר להמשיך ככה. Especially not with her. What do you mean not with her? She was just supposed to give the guy private lessons. We all know what she was supposed to do. The question is what we need. שנייה, שנייה, שנייה. I'll handle it. Are they gonna start doubting me? Of course not. They just don't like surprises. You're so good at giving away nothing. Did you bring him to your apartment? No, we went to a party and back to his place. So tell me something about him. He wears more cosmetics than I do. <laughs> Rosavi Electronics was a legit company when we started. Farad Rosavi, we took him for a lightweight, a rich playboy. But we discovered that when the Iranians try to buy restricted technology, they like doing it through legit companies. So we started steering a lot of offers towards Rosavi. We have documents that have to be translated and read. 
La plupart, ce sont des lettres de filiales européennes. Cette compagnie, par exemple, ils ont été engagés pour acheter des rangs dans des fermes de serveurs. D'accord. Ça, c'est le contrat. Il a besoin d'une relecture. C'est un petit peu ennuyeux. This was all part of Operation Business as Usual. We were grooming Rosavi Electronics to become an unwitting middleman between us and the Iranian secret service. For that, we needed to infiltrate their internal network. It's a pretty simple task, given they were a civilian company. Oh, I'm sorry. I got lost. Do you know where the exit is? He's there. Oh. Thank you. So? Can you do this work? Is that you? How old? <laughs> How much do you want per hour? Call me a cab. I will drive you. Can you wait five minutes? I'll wait for you outside. I need some air. Hey, uh, are people looking at me? Is it okay for an unmarried man and an unmarried woman to be seen together? Please, stop worrying about this. Nobody cares. Okay. <laughs> that flag in your booth, is that Azerbaijan? You know the flag? Yeah. Never been there. Once I lived here for many years. Can I try your brand? Strong. Thank you. چه بد مرسی خدا حافظ شیت if he didn't give me so much خایه مالی I would have finished my day 30 minutes before I'm sorry what's خایه مالی it's too much politeness too much flattery how can I ever thank you I would never dream to trouble you yeah, I've wasted half my day on this You by yourself all night? That is what I'm good for. Smoking and then letting the time pass. My mom always used to say she died of cancer. She always used to say that we let time slip, you know, let it pass us by. My brother said thing. He's younger, he's going to die soon. And all he wants is more time. And I have all the time, too much. I don't need it. Yeah, well, a person who knows they're about to die, that's the worst. Best to die like that. Yes. Why not have two guards? You know, switch, play backgammon. No need. Just me.
Yes. Got it. Yes. 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 Neem, you scared me. I got locked in the bathroom after work today. I just got out. I'm gonna tell Farad about it tomorrow. Have a good night. Almost. Everything okay? Maybe you want to come over? Um, <clears throat> I'm tired. You know, I have that early makeup class tomorrow. Ah, the fucking class you missed. How much time must I hear about this? See you tomorrow, okay?
כולם כבר כאן, אנחנו מחכים. Yeah, I'm working on it. מה working on it? תביא אותה לפה. I need a minute, Ronny. All right, back off. You know, they're waiting for us. You trying to make a fool of me? Maybe you are a fool. Maybe you all are. Excuse me? Why didn't anyone tell me that the system, like any Windows system, might try an automatic update? You know, I follow your protocols like a fucking robot, assuming you know everything, but you don't. I reviewed all the data from SIGINT. Everyone is sure the guard OD'd. Police, Rezavi Electronics, everyone. That's not what I mean. This is war. No, it's not like war, it is war. And in war, innocent people die. Look, if we... If we were in that meeting, you would understand the significance of what you've done and how everyone appreciates it. I am really impressed. by your ability to cope with unexpected situations. That's the reason we're able to let you be out there alone. That's your Hebrew. What? It's, it's shit. They take the piss out of me when I speak it, so I don't. Is that why they assign you to me? The outsiders? A British Jew living in Germany, working for a country that's not his? How does someone with such a tenuous connection to Israel, to the cause, get to be at the heart of one of the most sensitive operations? Not tenuous. Not tenuous. Unusual. But you're doing what they've been doing all along. Thinking of her as a foreigner that we can use and not one of us. Am I? She didn't get to a sensitive place. It became a sensitive place because she was there. We were selling the Iranian government nuclear technology, defective components, components with tracking devices. It became the central arena because of her. Because of us, because of my work with her.
Remember when we were at the party in Yevaran? When I was dancing, you were talking to this lady in a gold dress. Do you know her? I wanted to ask her something. I don't know these people. You don't know them? You sure? Maybe uh, they're friends of Nasser's. I don't know. What are you asking? Hey, calm down. We're gonna get there. Yeah. You look very nice. Your hair is perfect. What are you doing? Stop <laughs> it. Stop it. Whatever you do, don't just speak to my sister. It's all right. No, no, I'm serious. Don't even listen to me. Hello. Hi. 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 This is Rachel. Rachel, this is Royan, Nassim, Shiva, my sister. This is Mariam, Farid's wife. Farid is my older brother, who is uh, over there. Okay, uh, I have to go for one minute. Hi. I'm so glad to finally meet you. We thought he was hiding you. <laughs> you are from Canada, right? Yes. Don't mind them, they always do that. She asks if you teach at Ali's school. Yes, oh, you Ali's mom. I asked Ali to teach at Ali's school. Yes, oh, you are Ali's mom. I asked Ali to teach at Ali's school. Ali told her that you teach him something at Ali's school. Yes, oh, you are Ali's mom. I asked Ali to teach at Ali's school. Yes, oh, you are Ali's mom. I asked Ali to teach at Ali's school. Yes, oh, you are Ali's mom. I asked Ali to teach at Ali's school. Yes, oh, you are Ali's mom. I asked Ali to teach at Ali's school. Yes, oh, you are Ali's mom. I asked Ali to teach at Ali's school. Yes, oh, you are Ali's mom. I asked Ali to teach at Ali's school. Yes, oh, you are Ali's mom. I asked Ali to teach at Ali's school. Yes, oh, you are Ali's mom. I asked Ali to teach at Ali's school. Yes, oh, you are Ali's mom. I asked Ali to teach at Ali's school. Yes, oh, you are Ali's mom. I asked Ali to teach at Ali's school. Yes, oh, you are Ali's mom. I asked Ali to teach at Ali's school. Yes, oh, you are Ali's mom. I asked Ali to teach at Ali's school. Yes, oh, you are Ali's mom. I asked Ali to teach at Ali's school. Yes, oh, you are Ali's mom. I asked Ali well, I'm not surprised she's here because her family is friends with the groom. She and Farhad, very bad divorce. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yes, yes, yes. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. عروس رفته گل بچینه. با قبول ندوزدتش. به مهریه از اگه از اگه گیفت فرم دی گروم دن دی برای شی کن از که وی نبر شی مانده. برای بار سبون سوال میکنم. آیا بنده وکیلم؟ و شی انسیرز افتر در ثیر تایم. You didn't tell me you were divorced. I don't like to speak of it. Do you know she was going to be here? That way you wanted me to come? I don't mind. I want her to know you're taken. It's not just her, no, it's her whole family. They, they don't stop calling me. Are you having a good time? Yeah. Good. Why did you argue with your brother? He's older. You understand? In Iran, that matters. So he is a... Uh, he's in charge of the family company, and he's always away. I do all the work, and somehow still he managed to uh, treat me like an employee. Hmm. I don't want to talk about this. Come on. You want something? I get you chai gas. No. I serve you. It's no, okay. No, really. I have to tell you something. Um, I have to fly tomorrow to visit my father. You went to Urupo three weeks ago. I know. I know, but um, they found some stones in his kidney, and uh, he's doing some sort of treatment. Why didn't you tell me? I just learned. I, I think he's going to be okay, but, you know, I, I should go. You don't really speak of him very much, you know. You're from a good family, you wouldn't understand. He was very cold, my father. Always has been. You know, 
know, even after my mother died, it was just him and me, and he was very strict. Mm. Ridiculed everything I did, you know. Felt like I had to lie all the time. Hmm. And I was that living in my head. I got so angry at one point, even after my mother died, that I was like, how could you marry him? You know, how could you marry him and just leave me with him? Flying to Turkey next to the Iranian border. My team will join. You're going to drive a payload into the country. Drive? Mm -hmm. Through the mountains. What's the payload? Five devices. Flora Hallas. German archaeologist, same age as you. Similar build. She's worked in Iran multiple times. That will be your cover until you drop the car in Tehran. Driving bombs into Iran? It's your job to protect me from things I shouldn't be doing. No, it's a simple drive on a route that we often use. It shouldn't be a big deal. It's a fucking huge deal because I shouldn't be doing this. Hey, hey. What do you want? You want to leave it around? You sent a woman there and everything's about that. But it's never discussed or spoken about. What do you mean? I'm pregnant, Thomas. A protocol for that? Why didn't you say anything? I don't want it on their feed. I don't want all these fucking people to discuss it. I need your help, Thomas. Quietly. Rachel, I have to report you this. You can't. They're gonna yank you. They're just looking for an excuse. Well, so why are you even telling me? Why? Unbelievable. What do you think I'm doing? I'm talking to you as a friend. Yeah. So she got you to lie for her? And you proceeded with it? Ops are always doing that sort of stuff. Prove you're on my side kind of thing. She wanted me to transgress for her. Aren't you downplaying this? Downplaying it. You know, I was on a path. I knew right then and there it could destroy my whole career. And yet you did it? Yes, I did it. Okay. She had some personal stuff to take care of. Have you told her we're going to run Farhad directly? And do you really think that now is a good time to tell her? She'll need some time to get used to the idea. Can you guarantee she'll help recruit him once she realizes she's on her way out? Sorry. No, no need to look at him. Look at me. I'm going to head business as usual starting next month. Just don't tell anyone. Hasn't been announced yet.
The decision to pull her out changed everything. She would never have been given the Turkey border mission otherwise. It was as if they wanted to signal to her, to me, that this chapter was over. This is Golal. He and another driver will wait for you at this point. It's in your GPS, right here by this well. He'd want to see that you came alone. The code is, archaeology is good in Iran. Mm -hmm. They'll drive you through the mountains to the Iranian side, off-road through here. There's no physical borders. He's from a family of Kurdish smugglers we trust. We timed the operation so you wouldn't intercept the Iranian border patrol. But if you do, they'll deal with it. They'll hide you, bribe them, they do it all the time. Two on this door, three on the other. Do I leave the keys in the car? Yes. The people who pick it up will take it from there. Good luck. What's
What's going on? Hey! 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 I'm not going in there. Go here. I'm not going in there. Go here, army, Iran. Go here, go. Go here. Yakub, you're not checking me, bro. Shut up, 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 bro. Shut کم بلدم خب تو ماشین چی داری چی داری بخواد میبری هوا چی شون چه براز کن کاکا به جوارا با کرا پیمنا یو نو اور ابر سارم ول کبا به سارک بسارم و بیش لیرو بیش خرج مت اما میگم یا کرا پیا تمام مرق نکا بگو ببینم به من نگاه کن این ماشین تو ایران ثبت شده هوا عربا گری قید ایرانی وقت نه کاری بوی خوش بریم هوا عربا من نه عربا کرا پیمنا از این دروازه بر بو ماجه خیلی کشمیر سر دروازه هر بس ترکیه از این برانوسم یک ساعت دو ساعت از شهر نه 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 قید قید ایرانی که مطلقا قید ایرانی که نه ببینم برای چیه؟ چی داری بخواد میبری؟ هیچ نیش نیه که اکه بیداری کن چه مجل لیملش بدهانه از هر روز شمه ویر میر میمالی که تنمالی هلی از بزبان که جاش وان را بزنه باید آقا بایش نسته ما باید خوبه خوبه یان طوری امروز که من اینجا بودم ای کسی که جای من بود Es sage, dass er da ist, er ist Hara, Iran wali ya, darbazi wali ba.
خوبه خانم چرا قش کردی؟ چطوری شد؟ اه؟ خانم Was he talking in my sleep? He giving me sleeping pills. خانم پرست فرهاد فرهاد بچه How did this happen? We don't know anything. Bicycle ran into me in Germany. Oh, I didn't think it was going to be this bad. You had some internal bleeding. You're lucky you had a Razavi card on you. They called me. Hmm. I'm going to love this. How does this work? What is it? Bombings. Iranian scientists of the nuclear area. Scientists? Uh, two different locations in Tehran. Fuck. What? The scientists were with their families. Two children died. It's a fucking hospital. I can't take this anymore. I hate the smell. I can't, I can't do this anymore. What's wrong? I'm, I can't do this. I can't do this anymore. What, 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 what is it? What is it? How is your father? He's fine. Yeah, much better. When is the next time you'd visit him? Don't know, a few weeks. Why? We are constantly getting offers now to expand our business from Belgium, Germany. But my brother, he doesn't like the risk because of the sanctions. But these sanctions, they're even on chips you need in a goddamn toaster oven. 
The world is so hypocrite about this. It's okay for Israel and America to blow up children, but we can't have the components for a, a medical equipment. You can help me. Me? Next time you're in Urbo, pick up some things for us. All right. No, no, no. Computer chips. They, they look at you, Australian passport. They're not going to bother you. Please don't ask me to do this. Nobody will stop you. And if they do, we deal with it. I'm not worried about me. I don't think you should get into this. Don't you trust me when I tell you something is okay? I tell you, it is okay. Soll ich den Koffer tun oder im Handgepäck mitnehmen? Nimm es mit, dein Handgepäck. Das ist auch dein Laptop. Okay. Sag mal, wie geht's meinem lieben Freund, Farhot? Äh, gut, er grüßt dich. The laptop he brought houses 20 logic controllers with our version of the Step 7 software. We started circulating them in the black market since February. What's the story he's telling you? That it's for medical equipment. Good. So he's in the business now. You need to find a way to bring him here. Here? To Leipzig? Why? I mean, why would he? The whole point is that I carry that stuff for him, right? He's not cut out for this. He's like a kid trying to prove himself. He's already used you to smuggle restricted technology. Because we seduce him into it with all these offers from our companies. Whatever, Thomas. Are you pulling me out? No. Are you pulling me out? No. We're going to approach him as a German company seeking to do business with Rosavi Electronics. When he lands, I want you to take him to a French restaurant called Chez Henriette. Eat, someone will join you. Who? You? You always wanted to get your hands on him. <laughs> well, you got your hands on him, see how that worked out. Fuck you. You like it? I made a reservation at my favorite French restaurant in town. I ate on the train. I'm not hungry now. Okay. Well, I'm hungry. Are you going to come with me? What is it, Farhad? Did you go to an abortion place in Tehran last month? I did. I'm sorry I should have told you, all right? My period was late. I freaked out. I just went to some place and... I wouldn't have done anything without you. I, I, I got scared, and then my period came the next day. It was false alarm. So you're going to get rid of this without me ever knowing? No. Of course not. I can never tell what is going on behind your... I'm not pregnant. 
I was never pregnant, all right? We're all hiding stuff. You too. What do you mean, you too? Now, who's wearing that? What do you mean, you too? Farhad, I live in a country where I don't speak the language, all right? And the only person I know is you. What do you think that feels like? Hello? Your father died. What? No, we're going to... You heard what I said. But we're going for lunch. Exit now. We're on our way up. What is it? What is it? Farhad, I, I have to make a phone call. My father, my... Just wait for me here. All right, I'll, I'll be right back. Son of a bitch. Alicia. Hey, what are you? Just fine. Herr Razavi. Sprechen Sie Deutsch. English. You're involved in a plot to carry items that violate the sanctions against Iran. Your lady friend is going to appear before a judge and goes to jail. So will you. We will also implicate your company. What happens from now on, it's really all up to you. Did you try to terminate a pregnancy in Tehran? Did Thomas know about this? Tatrilo, I'm going to start. I answered this question already. Mazel. I did, yes, but she refused to talk to me. Why did you call her? I wanted to see how she's doing. Helping her conceal her pregnancy ended your career. Weren't you angry? What, with her? Because I was very involved in her life. You stopped giving a shit. You threw her away and she was no use anymore. Oh, so now it's our fault. What did she do in her year in Israel? Probably trying to contact Farhad or get information about him. Farhad is not in Tehran anymore. Look at this. After burying her father, she gave an interview to this, I don't know, local town paper. She got a picture in the fucking paper. This is two days ago. She also filed for taxpayer ID in England. She's upping her British identity profile. Why would she do that? Isn't it obvious? No! To make it harder for you to fuck with her on European soil! ואני יושב איתה כל יום בשביל לענות על שאלה אחת, אם נשתמש בו כן או לא, התשובה היא כן. הוא מאוד נאמן לה, הוא מוכן להשתמש בזה. וגם תאמין לו. Fahad is still part of Princess as usual. He lives in Germany. We run him false flag. He thinks he works for the Germans. Did you know that? No. Is she trying to meet him? Seems so. But there's much more going on. She spent the day in Switzerland after leaving London. Which passport is she using? Her real one. How did she leave Israel without getting flagged at the airport? She changed the name of the man, if he, to an employee. In time, she also found a business as usual. הצליחה להגיע לחומרים הכי מסווגים. אנחנו רק עכשיו מתחילים להבין את ההיקף של הדבר הזה. We are trying to make contact with her. Once we do, we'll put you on the phone. No, no, no. Please, please, let me be the first one to make contact with her. I'll talk her out of Germany, but face to face. I'll get her out, no shots fired, no mess to clean up.
so. They think if they send you, you can convince me to recruit my brother. Is that what they're... No. I'm not with them anymore. You don't? How did you find me? It took a really long time. I'm sorry. Stop, please. I made my own mess. I was too eager. You know, in the beginning, I, I was sure that I brought trouble to you. You disappeared. They told me you were in jail because of the things you brought back that I told you to bring. I tried to make a deal with them to release you. Only after many months, I realized you were with them. Everything that was between us was for them. Everything was a lie. What do you want? I came here to see you. I came here to say I'm sorry. I came here to try and get you out of this. you're offering is the only solution. You came for her. It's the truth. Use it. I know, Joe. I will. Sorry to hear about your father. Do you remember how angry I got once when you called him? The truth is, it really made me laugh. Why? Oh, he was such a British liberal, you know, stuffy historian. Hated Israel, the idea of it. I can just imagine what his reaction was like. He was pretty scary. <laughs> What do you want, Rachel? My name's Anne. What do you want, Anne? Thomas, I called you yesterday because I knew they would pull you into this. I'm really glad you're here. I went to Switzerland. I set up safe deposit boxes with information about business as usual. They paid in advance for one month only. Here's proof if they need it. If they're not paid by the end of the month, the content will be made public. I want out, Thomas. I don't want to work for them anymore. I don't want to report to them or do annual polygraphs. I'm done. And I want you to help me negotiate for its freedom. Extricate him step by step. I'll only follow up with you. Once that's done, I'll give you the bank details and the safe numbers. Listen, you know I have no interest in exposing any of this information. Make them understand. You're running around Germany assuming that they won't act on European soil when you're wrong. They're getting desperate. You're an outsider. You're a foreigner. You're not really Israeli. You're not really Jewish. You've got no formal tie to them. You're just a British citizen who's suddenly going to drop dead in Cologne. I haven't so far. No, they're waiting for me to talk you around.
They won't dare. They'll negotiate. <laughs> They'll hit you, and no one will ever know. You'll know. Look, Thomas, all my life I've done things thinking... I just feel like I've never really made a decision that's just mine. And this is it. This is my decision. Even if I'm gonna get shot in the next five minutes, I still did this. הוא לא יצליח להוציא אותה מכלום. הוא אפילו לא מנסה. אסור לנו לתת לה קומה שולחן.